Gaffer, you looked happy on Saturday. Where did where did that rank for you in terms of weekends as as manager of Argyle? Yeah, right up there because say it was a real tough game. We knew that before we went. We, we, our experience of it last year, it was um, it was a tough day. So it's right up there with, with among the best weekends. Yeah, um, we had to go about it in a different way, which was great. Um, showed that we've got that capability of doing that and managed to get the three points. Everton won, Liverpool didn't. <laughs> it, Perfect weekend. It was a good weekend. Yeah. <laughs> um, what does a win like that? Um, you know, it was a, it was a change of style for us. What yeah. does it What does it say? about the team? What does it, what does it do for, for us going forward as well? I think I touched on it at the weekend. Um, it shows that the, that the players are an intelligent group. So when we went down on Thursday and spoke to them about you know, the plan of going to Wickham and what we thought we learned from it the previous year, the, the, the messages that they gave us back was, was great. So it shows that they were intelligent and then it shows that they're also capable of playing a different way to go and get a result because it's not our usual style. We didn't play one goal kick out from the back, which didn't allow Wickham to come and press us. Um, we went direct into Sam. He had to be a battering ram for us for 90 minutes, which he, he was, and he, and he played well. And we had to then defend a barrage of balls into your mm. box, which is pleasing as well because it's not easy to do and concentrate for 90 minutes. So, yeah, loads of positives from it. And again, we've learned from it and we move on to the next big one. Yeah, how, how important is it to be able to have different ways of playing to be to be successful because we've seen the change of shape this year yeah having played well with the old one last year and and now this different style to be able to have a variety yeah i think just not being predictable is is good so it makes it harder for the opposition managers to plan against you so there's some real good coaches and managers in this division and i just felt that a little bit last year especially towards the end when we played against the big teams who just matched us up and said go on we'll see how good your players are against us. I thought we were a little bit predictable and a bit easy to play against. So this year it might be harder to plan against us and figure out what formation we're going to play, figure out who's, what personnel are going to start because we've got a few, a few different types and a few different styles that we can now use and, and that's brilliant. It's given us a chance to pick some good points up against some real, real strong teams in the league and, and we're going to need to do that all season. You mentioned another big one coming up tomorrow night, almost a sellout. Hopefully, will be a sellout. Sheffield Wednesday doesn't need much more sort of build up, does it? No. Um, look, we we were really looking forward to mm. this uh, game last time we were about to play them. I think we just played Derby, is that right? And then we were going yeah. into Sheffield Wednesday. I think yeah, I think that's how it went. But um, so we were really looking forward to. It. We were excited and preparing, and then obviously the games got called off, and and we have had to wait. But it's sort of we've managed to stick in there. We've got ourselves to the top of the division. They're still chasing. They're only a couple of points behind us, so it's um, yeah, it's going to be a great game. They're a real strong team, got loads of strengths and yeah, a nice balance about their team as well. So it's going to be hopefully a great game. And and if we sell out, which would be fantastic, then it'll be a good night. They must be the most prepared for team for us because we played them four <laughs> last year. We were supposed to play them two weeks ago. We're playing them again today. Yeah. The plans must be there. Yeah, it feels like I watch Sheffield Wednesday <laughs> all of the time. But um, but no, it's good. We know a lot about each other. So we played four times last season, and they were all good games, all tight. Um, and this year will be no different. Two two strong teams going to go at it, play football in the right way, and and yeah, I'm sure the fans will, will enjoy the game and. Hopefully we can enjoy it and get another big result. And you know, it's it's already been the best start for Argyle in terms of league position and then points in that league for well since the twenties. Okay. To continue that going is obviously the aim, but it, it you can see by it almost being a sent out every week. Yeah. Feelings there? It is there and I'm getting loads of messages and uh, wishes of support and there's excitement in the city that everyone's enjoying coming to watch us play at the moment and that's all down to the players. Credit to them. They're, they're performing, they're putting in the work rate and the effort every week, which the fans obviously appreciate and they keep wanting to come back and watch them play. So we want to continue that for as long as possible. Keep trying to stick in there with the big guns in the league and, and see where it takes us. But it's, it's an exciting time, yeah. Top stuff, Cafe, thank you.